so today I'm going to be doing my top beauty favorites for the year 2011. Um, I've actually seen a lot of girls do this on YouTube already and I didn't do one last year so I was thinking of doing one this year. And I'm actually going to break it up into categories like I'm not going to do a whole video with all of the stuff because I feel like I have a lot of stuff and I'm going to take forever like it was probably going to be like a 30 minute video even more. Especially knowing the way how much I talk in the videos. Yeah. But I'm going to break it up into face, eyes, lips, and then um, hair products and skincare. But this video is going to be on my face and lip products. So let me just start. Um, I actually did a whole list of what I'm going to like show you guys just so I won't forget. But the first category I have for you guys are brushes. And my favorite face brushes are all of these right here. And they're all very, very inexpensive. Um, well, depends. <laughs> okay, so this first one is my favorite um, powder brush. And it's from e.l.f. And I think it was a powder brush. Yeah, it is. This is what it looks like. A lot of people tell me to use it for my face, like for my um, my foundation. But I haven't really tried that for that. So I, I wouldn't know what to say about it. But for powder... It's amazing. I, I freaking love it. So as you guys can see, it's already like dirty. So please excuse that. Um, but yeah, I freaking love this brush. And it's only $3 at Target or at um, eyeslipsface.com. Um, wherever you can find e.l.f. The second brush is the foundation and concealer brush from Image Essentials. I'm not sure you guys can see that. Um, I got this specific brand of brushes at Kmart. And I like using their um, foundation brush for my blush, my cream blush. And um, you guys already saw me use it in my um, my updated um, face everyday makeup routine or something like that. And this is the one that I use to apply my blush right here. And then I use the Sigma SS 187 to blend my um, cream blush. It just blends in so easily. But one thing I hate about this brush, well for me, I um, heard other people say that it doesn't happen to them. But to me, it always like sheds. I don't know, maybe it's, I didn't take care of very good of it. But um, yeah, it just sheds on me. So, But I still use it, like I really love it. I just hate the fact that I have to be like picking off the little hairs. Um, and then I set my cream blush with the SS168 brush. This is what I use to apply my e.l.f. brush, brush, blush, sorry. So yeah, really awesome. And then lastly, for my foundation, I like to use the Coastal Scents Flat Top Bionic Brush. This is what it looks like. I remember I did a, like a haul video showing you guys this brush, and you guys can go back and see how clean it actually <laughs> looks. But yeah, I like this brush. It just leaves my foundation like so pretty and flawless, like... I don't know, I love it because the top hairs on the brush, I'm not sure you guys can see. All of the gray part of the brush, uh, uh, the, ah, all of the gray part of the brush is really, really soft. So, this makes it look like if it's airbrushed or something. Okay, now I really didn't use a lot of different face primers this year, but the one that I did use and I'm absolutely in love with is a Hard Candy Sheer Envy. Ultra Light Formula Primer. This is what it looks like. I have a review on this, so if you guys want to go and see it, I'll link it up down below. Um, but yeah, it's amazing. I think it's like either six or eight dollars. I'm not sure, but you can get this at Walmart because that's where I've seen they sell hard candy. Um, the next thing is foundation. I've used so many foundations this year, like a lot from Maybelline, the L'Oreal True Match. Um, that mineral power one that I absolutely hated. I've used tons, but throughout you know the year, I found two that I loved. One of them I don't have with me, and that's the L'Oreal True Match. I remember I got that um, around last year when it was like, well actually in 2010, like during the Christmas time, because I remember I bought this set that came with the concealer, powder, and the, the foundation, which I was like in love with. And, um, but I, I remember I still used it throughout, you know, 2011. So, I really love that one. And also the Maybelline Dream Smooth Mousse, which looks like this. As you guys can see, I already hit pan on this, like, really bad. I just have, like, the rim. 
Um, yeah, I love this. And I'm in Creamy Natural. But I'm not sure that really is my shade. Um, I'm always like switching up to see which one fits me better. Because I have this one and then I have another one that I got as the backup. Okay, this is my backup one. As you guys can see, it still had like the little wrap thingy. And this one I got it in buff. And as you guys can see, I think it's a little darker. I'm not sure. So I'll have to see. I'm just like playing around to see, you know, which one fits my color the most. But this concealer, I mean, whoa. This foundation. Whoa. Whoa, it's scary. Okay. Um, yeah, this foundation is awesome. It's just really cool. Um, okay, powder. I've used tons of powders. I've used the NYC translucent powder, a Sally Hansen coin silk powder, uh, the Maybelline Dream Matte powder, something like that, um, the, um, Elf one, the Hard Candy one. I've used tons. Also the, the L'Oreal True Match powder that came with that little set I had gotten. I've used that also. I've used tons. Out of all of them. These are the two that I just can't live without. As you guys can see in my e.l.f. one, I've already hit pan. I don't know why I like it. It's just really like, just sets my foundation really good. Like, I really don't have like a lot of, you know, problems where, I don't know, it just leaves it super matte and pretty. And this one is, ooh, what is wrong with me? Okay. Also, my Heart Candy um, Welcome Matte Mattifying Powder. This one as well just leaves my um, my face really pretty and matte, and I love it. As you guys can see, I also hit pan on this one. This is what it looks like in the back. And I don't know. If you guys, like, you know, are wondering what powders to use, definitely check out these two. They're amazing. This one is about $3, and the Heart Candy one is also around $6 or $8. One of those two prices. Not like $6, $7, not like $6, $7, or $8, but $6 or $8. Um, the next one would be um, blush. Okay. So, as you guys can see, also, I've used so many blushes. I've used Wet n Wild, Maybelline, um, L'Oreal. I've used a couple of them. And the two that I actually came down to was this e.l.f. blush in Pink Passion. And it's actually the one that I use every single day. That's what I have on right now. It's really pretty and really bright. That's what it looks like. And that's what I have on my cheeks. Um, and then my favorite cream cream, wait, my favorite cream blush is the NYX Rouge Blush in Glow. This is what it looks like. And this one as well is a really, really pretty pink color. That's what that looks like. And that's what I also have on my cheeks. I always like to put this one. And then the Elf Pink Passion on top. So that's what I have on my cheeks right now. Um, the best highlighter. I really don't have like a specific like a highlighter highlighter that's like, you know, just a highlighter. But I heard that the Urban Decay um, Shadow in Stin that I received in my glam bag was a really pretty color to use as a highlight. So I've been using this also. I just dab my finger, you know, on the eyeshadow. And just apply it right here on my cheek, on my cheekbone, and just you know, just blend it in. And it's really pretty. Like I really like it. I also as well like to use this um, as an all over the lid color. It's just really pretty. Let me see. You guys can see that. It's just a really pretty like taupey color. So yeah. Um, next is concealer. That's the last, um, part of the face, guys. Um, the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer is absolutely my favorite. I discovered this a while back ago, like in, I would say like, I would want to say like February or something, or January or February of like last year. I discovered this and I was like, I don't even know how I even like wanted to try this out. I didn't see no one like do videos on this concealer. Like I didn't even do research or heard anyone rave about it. 
I just went to Walmart and I was just like, you know what, I'm going to give it a try. And I just like absolutely fell in love with it. Like it just covers your like dark bags like really good. And um, yeah, that's when I got also the primer as well. I had bought these two at the same time. Um, then after that, like a while after that, I just heard so many people like raving about this. And I'm like, I'm so glad I got this. Woo! Okay, so yeah. That's all for the face. Now let me go really quickly into lips. Um, for best chapstick, I've used so many. But this is the one that I came down to that I absolutely love. It's the Nivea Kiss of Moisture. Um, it's just really, really moisturizing. You put it on your lips and you, like, I'm not lying, it feels like you're putting, like, cream on your lips. It just feels super good. Um, best lip glosses. I've used so many. You guys have already seen, like, my lipstick and lip, um, collection, like, lip gloss collection. I have so many lip glosses, but these are the ones that I absolutely fell in love with. The next lip glosses, they just smell super duper good. They smell like cherry. Um, and they're super cute. I mean, they have like little um, cute bows up here. And they have one in beige. Oh, you guys can see that. Um, then I have one in natural. And then I have one in a beautiful. Now I'm going to do some quick swatches. This one is called Beautiful and this is what this one looks like. It's right there. And then this is what, oops, this is what beige looks like. Right there. And then this is what natural looks like. This is the one that I have on my lips right now. So those are really, really pretty colors. Like I really love these. And then for best lipstick, I'm not going to lie, you guys. <laughs> the Wet n Wild lipsticks, I have, a, I have like a whole freaking collection right here. And I freaking love them. My favorite out of the whole collection, you guys probably already know. I'm not even going to say the name. I just want you guys to tell me down below what it's called. Because I would always rave about this lipstick. Like this specific color and name like of, the, of this brand. But this is what it looks like. And this is what the swatch looks like. Right there. Just a really pretty color. I'm not going to say what it's like. The color of the lipstick. Because that's actually like what it's called. But yeah. It's right there. And that's the, my favorite lipstick. Out of this whole collection. Like I love all of them. But that specific color is like my favorite. So yeah. Really pretty. I hope you guys go and try out all of this stuff. Oops. Oh my gosh. I just laid my hand like this like on my pants. Great. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, stay tuned for the other... Yeah. Stay tuned for the other parts. I'm going to be doing one for the eyes, hair, and skincare. So don't forget to check those out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.